In the journey of life, many of us have experienced seasons where we feel like we wasted precious time, whether through wrong choices, missed opportunities, or simply wandering away from God's path. It's a common human experience to look back with regret, longing for a chance to redeem those lost moments. However, as Christians, we are blessed with the promise of restoration through our faith in God. The Bible assures us of God's ability to redeem and restore even the most wasted years of our lives. In the book of Joel 2, 25-26, the Lord declares, I will restore to you the years that the swearing locust have eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you. This promise signifies God's unfathomable grace and mercy. Despite our shortcomings and failures, God is willing to turn our mourning into dancing, our sorrow into joy. However, it's essential to understand that this restoration isn't merely about reclaiming lost time, but about experiencing a profound transformation in our life through God's love and power. One of the most compelling examples of God's ability to restore wasted years is found in the story of Joseph in the book of Genesis. Joseph endured years of betrayal, slavery, and imprisonment, yet through unwearing faith and obedience to God, Joseph ultimately rose to a position of great influence and was able to reconcile with his family. In Genesis 50, 20, Joseph declared to his brothers, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Similarly, God can take the broken pieces of our lives and fashion them into something beautiful. As we surrender our past mistakes and regress to Him, He can use them for His glory and our good. This process of restoration often involves repentance, forgiveness, and renewed commitment to God's will. As we align our lives with His purpose, we open ourselves to His transformative work. Moreover, God's restoration isn't limited by time or circumstance. Whether we are wasted years in addition, failing relationships, or pursuing worldly ambitions, God's grace is more than sufficient to bring healing and renewal. As Isaiah 43 19 declares, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. In our journey of restoration, it's crucial to maintain faith and patience. God's timing is perfect and His plans far surpass our understanding. Even when we cannot see the way forward, we can trust in His faithfulness to lead us into a future filled with hope and purpose. The promise of God to restore the wasted years of our lives is a testament to His boundless love and mercy. Through faith in Christ, we can experience the fullness of His redemption and transformation. Let us therefore surrender our past to Him, trusting that He is able to bring beauty from ashes and turn our mourning into dancing. As we walk in obedience and trust, may we witness the miraculous work of God's restoration in our lives, bringing glory to His name forevermore. Amen. If this was a blessing to you, please like and subscribe for more. May God bless you, and may the Lord give you a heavenly mindset.